We first told you yesterday North Charleston has surpassed Chicago when it comes to the number of homicides per capita. North Charleston Mayor Keith Summit reacted to the news in a video posted online saying the city of North Charleston can't raise your children. But as News 2's Travis Rice explains, some have a problem with the mayor's message. Travis. Good evening, Carolyn. Well, people told me the mayor's comments probably come from a good place, but its message was lost because of the things said in it. The bottom is Amari. As a working mother of seven. Jordan, Trinity and Tori, their twins, Tyler, Alyssa and Caleb. Amanda Baxter is as busy as they come. Um, it's fun. Amidst her duties, she is still able to find time to watch the mayor of North Charleston's latest Facebook address. The problem is we can't raise your children. It is your responsibility to raise your children. It felt like my grandfather lecturing me for something. The nurse says she knows some he means well, but still feels like the fourth largest city in the state she and others call home is left behind. No one's asking the city or the state or the government to raise, to raise their children. Mm -hmm. um, having things for them to do that are safe and that are, you know, affordable for parents that are working that may not have a lot of income is a reasonable request in my opinion. By the time I was 11 years old, when school was out during the summer, I was collecting bottles on the side of the road. I was selling produce on the side of the road for anybody that would let me. I was shining shoes in a barber shop. You know, listing things from 50 years ago and how you did them, that's not the reality of 2017. Shakur Francis says the mayor's out of touch. The way he was raised in 1950 and 1960 is not the reality that most children, even African American children, are being raised today. A murder rate higher than Chicago is personal for him. This past March, one of my friends, Thelmont Royal, um, who I graduated from Burke with, was killed in North Charleston. He appreciates the mayor's words, but would rather see action. It was trying to play the blame game and lay it at someone else's feet instead of saying, okay, I'm going to engage in meaningful, thoughtful conversations with just not community leaders, but also young people and everyone that let's resolve these issues. Folks we're asking for is they'd like to see Mayor Summy at more of the open forums that are put on by neighborhood groups. Reporting in studio, Travis Rice, News 2.